everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. This week's scrapbook layout is going to be of one of me and my gran. Um, I'll talk a bit more about the photo when I show it to you later. But first of all, I just want to talk you through these papers. So I received a lucky dip from Louise at Thompson's Craft Supplies. She very kindly sent me this. Um, it's a really, really good thing to do. I've spoke about it before. You basically select what lucky dip you want to do and then you tell Louise the things that you like and you don't like, colours, etc, etc. And she will send you a lucky dip and it's really quite fun so this is the butterfly paper that I've chosen there's lots more that comes in that I'll share a little link actually so you can see that as well but I said as soon as I saw this paper sheet I thought I'm going to fussy cut these butterflies so that's exactly what I do so the sheet here is by One Canoe 2 it's Hazelwood collection and it's called Flock so you can buy that paper separate I believe again I'll share links to Louise's website below so this is the photo of me and my gran it's a special photo because it's the last photo that I had taken with her so I thought it would be a lovely one to scrapbook now I didn't really know what I wanted to do and I knew I wanted to bring some texture in I haven't used my homemade embossing paste for some time so I thought I would get it out so I do make this myself I have a tutorial showing you how to make it loads of you and I mean loads have made it have told me they love it so I will share a little link up now as well for that one if you'd like to see my recipe it's really easy and you can add color to it as well and you can add shimmer and glitter to it people have been asking and yes you can so this stencil I'm not entirely sure I want to say again I'll put a link up if I remember but yeah I can't quite remember that one anyway <laughs> so I did dry this in between you can let it air dry but I just wanted to obviously you know make this go a bit quicker so I just added my heat to that from my heat gun funny that but anyway <laughs> um, just to get it done quickly so now I'm bringing in the cosmic shimmer pixie powder I love these so I've sprayed some water down first and then you just tap this powder it's got mica in it and as soon as it hits the water it reacts and it starts to bleed and you can see now I'm spraying more water over it and it starts to kind of just kind of you know really seep into all those raised parts of the embossing paste and it just it gives a really nice effect and I'm spraying more water to it as I'm applying the heat so the heat's moving it around and I'm just able to really control it so that color is lava red again I'll share links to that below so you can see there if I just bring it up closer I've got a real nice texture to it I've got some real fun kind of um, patterns and you can see the mica shimmer showing through there as well when it catches the light so I was really pleased with that so I've got a nice kind of base now for me to start adding you know everything else to so now I'm bringing in the butterflies originally I kind of thought I was going to do a big circle around the picture but then I don't know just didn't really look right so I'm sticking the photo down there with some foam adhesive because that really stuck well to the embossing paste um, and now I'm going to start bringing in more of those butterflies. So I just, yeah, randomly, I did do this for a good maybe five, ten minutes, kind of moving them around, changing the colours, the sizes and things like that. But um, they're really, really fun. So that is the layout that I'm going for. And then I'm just bringing in my hot glue. Because I had the embossing paste there below, I just thought if I go in with my hot glue, I know it's going to really stay you know stuck down I wasn't sure really how some of the glues might any kind of water-based ones anyway yeah when you see the ingredients in the um, embossing paste you'll understand why I decided to go for the hot glue because I just know it will stay there so this is a thicker sticker pack it's called shoebox I got this on sale um, not too long ago but I don't think it's still in there now but this was hobby craft um, and I just simply just spout out gran so I use a few other little subtitles in a moment which you'll see me bring in but I just thought I'm just going to put gran because that's what she was she was my gran so um, I'm sticking them down with some you know stronger glue as well just so again so they don't fall off this is a Vicky Bootin sticker sheet you get 102 stickers here this was also in the lucky dip so everything kind of you know matches as well which I like and Louise knows I love my bright colors the bolder the wackier the better so I'm sticking the stickers on some white card and then I'm just sticking them with some foam adhesive and that one there says the the best thing about memories is making them and I've got lots and lots of lovely memories with my gran when we were younger um, and then this one says capture it then I had remember this and then that one says happy moment and now I'm just coming in with my Nuvo drops this particular color here is let me check it out Wedgwood blue um, I do add quite a few and you'll see that in a moment in the close-ups um, I do love my Nuvo drops and I just thought the you know more texture there as well it just and dimension just gave something more to look at really so yeah quite like that one um and also those colors kind of 
I think worked well with the butterflies. Um, so it kind of tied everything together. Stick with little groups, um, as I always do, odd numbers where you can really. Um, and yeah, love this. I just thought it was really, really nice. It was really quick to do. It's just getting that kind of base background together. Everything else after that is really, really quick. So now you can see it more in its true colour because the um, I don't think my lights were very good when I was making it. But um, yeah, you can really see that texture there. Really fun. It dries really well. It doesn't crack. It doesn't fall off. Um, it's really, really good embossing paste. Um, the butterflies are all slightly raised as well, which looks really nice. And yeah, I'm rambling on. You can see what it looks like. I think it looks great. And I like the dramatic different textures and the way the paint's kind of, you know, fallen off the edge there or the pixie dust, whatever anyway. But yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to go. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial. Bye.